idea about a road trip would be like me and a bunch of guys in a brand new truck, like just cruising across the country into open land, like so far away from a city, so far away from mass population, completely desolate, just like to the point where I can actually stop in the middle of the street, like get out and like look around, there's nothing but mountains all around me. Like that's the kind of road trip I would want to take. I've always wanted to drive to the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. I don't want to go from one city to the next city. I don't want any people around me. Road tripping? Get me that out of here. Since we're just streaming is I want to circle all of America. Going from Alaska to the tip of Argentina, I think that would be amazing. I'd do it by myself on a motorcycle, so I'd probably be dead somewhere in the Canadian Rockies or Mexico or... Oh, no, west. Go west, boy. Yeah. The worst person on the morning show to bring would definitely be Andrew because I've taken three road trips with him at least that were about an hour and I lost my voice every time because we wouldn't stop singing. I'm not going on a road trip with, with Brody because Brody will do nothing but talk about sports all the time. Oh, we don't listen to that. Oh, you hear that? Oh, this pitcher's this uh, baseball, this baseball, that. I'd probably say Elvis because I think we would get in on each other's nerves after a while. And it'd be like an old married couple, and, and then like I'd, you know, kick him out in Maryland, and he would just be on the side of the road hitchhiking. If I go on a road trip with Skiri, I'm gonna be listening to <laughs> all day long. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Definitely Greg T. I, I, there's so many instances. For one time, we were driving down to Florida and he fell asleep in the back as he always falls asleep. And he was driving and then he fell asleep behind the wheel and then he hit the uh, transmission into reverse. We're doing 80 miles an hour. Doing like 100 miles an hour down 95. The sound the car made was as if somebody's gonna hit you and it locks up. It was a huge mess. He may be the worst person to uh, go on a road trip with. If I can only bring three items on a road trip, I am I'm going to bring a professional camera so I have to capture this moment of my life. Waze, my app on my phone, because I have no idea where the hell I'm going. So Waze, uh, I love that. That's number one. Okay, so I need that, right? I need a cell phone, because in my phone, I've got everything. I've got my apps, i got my porno apps, I've got on a road trip, so I'm good to go. Number two, um, is my dog. I think that road tripping with your pet is the coolest thing ever. I've done a couple of trips with my dog and, uh, and it's a lot of fun. I am going to bring my favorite book, The Prophet, because it gets me all emotional and I feel like that would be nice to release on my endeavors. Uh, I would only take one, a credit card. You, you can get everything you need along the way. It's a jar of smooth peanut butter. Does it feel good? Definitely an empty water bottle. Um, growing up as a kid, we drove down to Florida a lot and my dad would never stop. It, it, it had to make time. A box of cigars and I'm bringing a lighter and we are good to go. My phone, box of cigars and a lighter. <coughs> Can I bring a water as well? It, when you have a cigar, your throat starts to burn a little bit. A jar of smooth peanut butter. Smooth peanut butter. Peanut butter. Smooth peanut butter.